like it. I've been decorating. I just brought the tree up from downstairs and I put up some little flashy lights. <sighs> it's cute. We wanted to put like the big tree up, but there's really no room. Usually it goes like there or like there, but like the couch is so big <laughs> that there's no room. So I don't know. I'm going to see what Cooper thinks when he gets home because that's the one I got for filming, and I think it works. It just needs a little height. I'm getting ready to go to the allergy clinic, and I'm listening to Hannah Brown's book because I'm a bachelor bitch. It's just the first chapter, or second chapter right now, and she's talking about identity and finding out who you are, and damn, that resonates. You know, all the like religion stuff, much less, but, I've been thinking about it a lot. I thought about it on my way home from hanging out with one of my friends the other day. And like, it's just funny how things influence who you are now, like so much, so much. Like I've been doing YouTube stuff since I was 12, I'm 26. I've been doing this for 14 years. And it's made me like a really bad storyteller <laughs> in my real life because I feel like I share so much of myself online. And even if my friends don't watch it, I feel like I have less of a right to take up like space and time in my real life because I take up so much space and time online. I'm like going back into like personal therapy. I'm trying better help because I couldn't find, like I loved the therapist I had last time but she was finishing her something. She was doing something for school and she left the place that I was going to and all the other therapists just have like huge wait lists. So I'm trying better help because I like to do these like catch up refresh sessions a couple times a year. And oh, it is just like one of those things where even in therapy, I feel like I'm really bad at talking about myself. And I feel like I always, probably because of the internet, need to like, literally I am paying somebody to listen to me and to check me and be like, well, that's not rational. But I think I'm so programmed to like not want that kind of a response where somebody's like correcting you because of how harsh the internet can be that I like self-correct myself in therapy and it's literally just me sitting there and like finding my own solution half the time, which isn't a bad thing, but it's just weird. It's just, it's so interesting how like, I don't know who I would be because I would be such a different person if it wasn't for the internet, which is the point I was leading up to here because I, I wouldn't have grown up with it. I wouldn't have grown up like on it with all these opinions on it just the little tiny choices we make when we're preteens and teenagers, like those can really end up shaping our lives. We're going to the allergy clinic, and then we're going to his doctor, and then we're going to Valley Village. So come and join us for the exciting time. I don't know why I just haven't been liking my makeup recently. I think we need to try a different palette. Maybe it's just too warm. Maybe I need more like cool palette right now. We'll see. <laughs> I'm in the clinic. Wow. Any more apparently? You wanna be on Vlogmas? I, I didn't say that specifically, no. I read in between the lines. There's no lines. There were lines. These are lines, but there's no words on it. Oh, sponsored by Into the AM? Is that what the brand is? Into the AM. Yes. Nailed it. Nice fit you got going on today. Sorry, I'll give you a good angle. I'm so flattered. Oh, God. Check out our sick Christmas tree. <laughs> All of the decor done by moi. Do you want to do another Christmas tree? Yeah, I thought we were getting festive this year, motherfucker. 
Babe, look at how festive we are. Light. There's not even an angel or a star Light on that tree. tree. I don't have one, do you? I don't have a tree topper. I can sit on it. <laughs> Put that up your ass. Oh my God.